Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's look at framing pictures using pages. You know, people often forget that Pages is a pretty powerful layout program and you can use it for all sorts of things. So for instance, when you're looking to frame a photo using iPhoto, you might be using the wrong tool. Pages has some pretty powerful tools for manipulating graphics like photos. Let's take a look at creating a frame around a photo using Pages. So when you start a page document you get to choose between word processing and page layout. For something like this of course you want to use page layout and you can choose whether you want vertical or horizontal orientation. Let's just do vertical for this example. You end up with a blank document and here I can put in anything I want. In this case I want to put a photo. So let's go to the media browser by clicking on the button here and it will bring up the photos I have in iPhoto. So let's go and select one here and drag it into the document like that. And close the media browser. And now I've got my photo here and it's pretty plain with no border or anything around it. Now we can start to work on it. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to change the view so it shows the layout. So now I can see the page itself and I can see exactly what I'm going to get when I'm printing. Great. Now that I've got that I can resize the photo so maybe I want to make it a little bit larger like that. Now using the inspector here on the right a lot of different things I can do with this photo. So for instance I can choose under stroke a line or picture frame. Choosing a line gives me a basic border around there and I can increase the border size like that and even change its color to something else like say brown. Now I could also change the type of line. So there's some different styles that I could use here. But chances are if I want a nice frame I'm going to want it to go from line to picture frame. And this gives me various options. I click on here and see some pretty stylized ones, uh, some pretty more basic ones like that. And then I've got options with those as well. So for instance I can scale the amount of that frame. Uh, same if I would choose say this one here. I can scale it down or up. So I have quite a few options. Not a ton of them as you would maybe in a graphics program uh, but uh, plenty to be able to experiment with. Now another thing I can do is I can just choose a frame there and I can also uh, choose a shadow for it. So I can have the shadow drop behind uh, that frame. So uh, a lot of different nice visual effects that I can make and I can change the color and the angle of that shadow as well. Uh, the amount of blur. So there's a lot of different things you can do there. Another option you've got is to add reflections. And reflections, you can see what they do is they create this visual effect. It's common on the Mac. You see it in iTunes a lot, for instance, uh, and in the different stores where it kind of reflects the image down below. And you can um, play around with that effect as well and use it in conjunction with various things. So you can change that and then add a shadow and even include a picture frame there and the picture frame will then be reflected as well. Another thing I could do is I can start out with a shape say let's do an oval shape here and I can drag and drop a photo into that. So let's bring up media here and drag that same photo inside there. And now I can actually see it inside the different shape and I can zoom in and out for this. Uh, even edit the mask for that so I can kind of adjust what is shown in there. And then for that I can also adjust and create a line around it say or even try to use a picture frame although that really only works with the rectangular shapes. So I probably want to stick with lines there but you can go and use one of the styles here for that. So this is just another option to keep in mind if you're looking at printing on photos and you want to do it uh, in a way that iPhoto doesn't support. You can do it here in Pages and of course you can do more than one photo on a page. You can arrange them all sorts of different ways. It's a full page layout program so there's a lot of different things that you can do. You can even put multiple pages there so you can lay out basically a scrapbook of photos uh, any way that you want and have it for printout or save it out as a PDF.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.